Hello, my name is Martin Paul Eve, and I'm the Professor of Literature, Technology and Publishing at the University of London's Birkbeck College. I've worked extensively on open access and the humanities disciplines, and I founded the Open Library of Humanities. The myth that I am here to address today is, if I publish my book Open Access, I won't have control over my work. The issues of permission and licensing contained in this myth statement are complicated and nuanced. In this four minute segment, I'll try to address some of this complexity. First, it is worth asking what control you have over your work if you publish in a closed or sales environment. This already involves signing over your copyright to a third party, sometimes even to a for-profit commercial publisher for the entire copyright term. In conventional copyright transfer agreements, you forfeit control over your work to a third party until 70 years after your death. It is not always clear that presses are able to or will protect you in the event of a lawsuit. In this situation, you bear much of the liability without any control. In other words, what control do you have now under the current system compared to the control you have under an open access system? Second, it's worth asking why you want control and what that means. If you want to control how others use your work and represent you, say to avoid extremist political groups appropriating your work and falsely ascribing sentiment to you, then libel law is your go-to, not copyright. Further, it is true that you will lose the ability to control who makes, say, a translation of your work if you apply a more liberal Creative Commons license to a book. This can alarm people, but it should be noted that most academic books are not translated. This can only help to serve broader global diverse audiences, although some worry about the quality of such translations. Open access does ask for a slightly different mentality, in which giving up some control as an act of generosity, say in this case to allow a new global readership, is part of the logic. Being open to novel remixes of your own work is also a potential benefit in seeding some control. So my second point is to ask why do you want control and what does this mean and what possibilities might there be if you did give up some of that control. Third, the more liberal Creative Commons licenses do allow others to resell your work. This has led to some consternation about the quality of the reprints and the potential undercutting of, say, university presses. One of my own open access books was reprinted by a third party. Now, this doesn't particularly bother me. I figure, figure it can only result in more readers for my work if someone buys the book. But I did nonetheless succeed in getting my name removed from the reprint, which means that it's harder for others to find that work um, and for these third-party reprinters to exploit those conditions. Others may feel more aggrieved about this than I did, but the basic question I would ask for a third point is, what's the damage? Uh, is it commensurate with the idea of locking down our work further? Overall then, this myth is not straightforward. There is some loss of control in publishing your book open access. However, Instead of seeing that as a solely a negative, I suggest that we should first compare this to our current practices, in which you still sign away all control of your work, but then ask why we want to be controlling of our work in the first place. Open access, in my view, offers us new horizons of possibility for where our work might travel, and the new audiences that we might find, and to whom we might generously cede control.